All season long, F2 Tex has been one to watch. The Englishman has had one of the most dominating, unparalleled and landscape defining runs of success we have ever seen in competitive FIFA. He has claimed seven titles beginning in Bucharest, entertaining viewers with his exciting, explosive playstyle. But one question still hangs over him as we head towards London. Can he become a world champion? The FIFA E-World Cup is the final hurdle for the phenomenon and would be the last instalment in the year of F2 Tex. The reigning E-World Cup champion and two-time Foot Cup victor MS Dasari not only represented his nation this season, but also secured a mammoth amount of Global Series ranking points. However, he has shared those points with a healthy competition from Tex and they faced off against each other all season long, trading blow for blow, but who will have the last laugh? Dasari will look to make it back-to-back -back World Cups and prove once and for all that he is second to no one and undoubtedly one to watch. Winning three console titles, the E-Club World Cup, as well as an incredible victory at the PlayStation Playoffs, Nicholas has proven to be the man to beat, holding the number one spot in the Global Series rankings for months on end. He showed his consistency at the beginning of the year, winning back-to-back -back titles on PlayStation and becoming the first PlayStation player in years to win a cross-console final. This, followed by his dominating partnership with Tex at the E-Club World Cup, really demonstrated the sheer force that Nicholas possesses when it comes to FIFA 19. Can the Iceman keep his cool at the biggest tournament of the year? One thing is certain, he's going to be a terrifying opponent at the E-World Cup and why he has to be one to watch. As one of our ones to watch, Maestro's season has gone from strength to strength as the tournaments have rolled by and the placements have kept rising. The FIFA E-Club World Cup was a wake-up call after a below par performance forced Maestro to re-evaluate his season. From that moment, he was reborn and moved on to the highlight moment of his season so far where he pulled on the blue of France. Representing his nation at the FIFA E-Nations Cup, he went all the way to pick up his first major championship and set himself up for the FIFA E-World Cup.